Um, I thought our guys needed the right energy. I thought that uh, Dante did what I thought he needed to do in the game uh, to get us off to a great start with his effort. You know, a couple of mistakes here and there, but I thought he needed to do that. We had to have a spacing floor, and, uh, and I thought he did a good job. You know, third game in a row, we got 20 assists, so the guys are moving it and seeing how easy the game can be when they move the basketball. And now guys are cutting to the basket, knowing that there's a possibility of a pass. So that's a huge positive for us. Um, you know, a 25 assists would have to happen against a team like this. If we're going to settle for jump shots and just keep shooting, you're going to allow a really good team with good players to be able to um, get back in the game. If you got a big lead and you start taking long jump shots, you're going to be in trouble. Well, you didn't have a lot of energy in your hands when you quit tonight. You had a bunch of steals early on a lot of What was it you were trying to do? Just hang tough? Um, I mean, just try to, try to get us running tonight. Um, we got out on them early. Um, Play fast. They were all the team. They they're not really looking to run. So let's try to get out on them quick. Tyree, was the goal tonight to push the tempo, knowing that the Mavs are a veteran team, an older team, and of course they're coming off a game last night in Phoenix. Oh yeah, we wanted to be aggressive. We knew they had a game last night. Watched a little bit of it. Uh, just push the uh, ball. You know, uh, make them run. You know, try to get easy passes and uh, transition. You're the, the pure shooter on this team. Are you helping Jimmer kind of get through this early stage in his career? Or well, you know, Jimmy's is doing great. You know, he listens, and um, you know, um, I think oh, he's he's gonna be a good player in this league, and um, you know, he is right now, and he's doing great. Does Chuck Hayes open up the spacing for you? Is that what he's doing for you guys right now? Ah, uh, you know, he's a great passer, so yeah. He's, you know, everybody is cutting. You know, he's gonna pass the ball, and uh, you know, we're reading each other really well. Coach, you had seven players fi finishing double figures tonight. What are you doing to kind of stop the hero mode that we've seen? I, I say move the ball. If, you, if I see that you're hunting, you got to come out. My job is to get you and let you play in the game. I don't want you over on the sideline. You're one of our better players or you're one of a, a player of our team. I, I want you to play. But if I see that you're hunting like we did early in the year, then this guy hunts, he goes for his shots, wants his numbers, look up at the scoreboard and see that he has eight points and decide I want to score. I got to get him out the game. You know, and um, and then, but they understand that. But I think overall, what our guys are doing now is trusting each other. You cut hard, but we got a lot of deflections to get us in transition. And now you get in transition. The thing that I wanted us to do from the beginning was create turnovers, create turnovers, and get into the open court. Now we don't have to rely so much on our half court. But now with our half court, and especially our second unit, that's doing a great job of understanding how to play with each other, moving the ball, making plays for each other, and really setting the tone. Because our first team is looking at that and saying, man, all we have to do is cut. And that's what they're doing. But defensively, I thought we were good, too. You know, we did some nice things, coming in to help, rotating out. A good team, you're going to have breakdowns. That's, that's going to happen. But we had, in that range of a 10-possession 10, a 10 range, we, you know, we, it wasn't up there where we made eight mistakes. You know, we may have made four or five. So we kept in the 50% uh, range.